Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Predictions guys and this will be your May Tarot Scope for 2017 guys. So we are going with my usual favorite forecast spread which the first one will be the topic of May. The second one is going to be what you need to overcome and what or the activities you need to restrict yourself from in order to speed up your process. The third one is going to be the activities you should aim to go for or the possibilities you will have GMA or in general the positive things that are going to happen to you GMA that can speed up your process. And the last one is going to be re the result of that how May is going to contribute for your well-being. So starting with the first one, that will be guys the two of swords. One second to draw a catalyst with the wheel of fortune. So this is how the, uh, that is going to play out for you guys. For career, this particular combination speaks for a, um, a huge opening into your job place. But you need to <clears throat> kind of um, prove yourself in order to take that huge opening. Probably, especially for those who are thinking about changing their jobs, um, something is going to happen there, GMA, that will really change their mind. It's going to like reverse your thinking into 180 degrees. It's because some particular perspective, some particular breakthrough is going to be given. Maybe an opening for a new position is going to give you the the aggression and the and the guts to continue furthering this particular um, this particular road that you are about to abandon. However, this also may, may play out that a very, very vital information is going to be uncovered for you through a very meaningful circumstances. This particular vital information will give you a big edge, a very big upper hand, but what will be the problem here, guys? It will be how you can actually use it in the best possible way, guys. And you need to be very smart about that and you have to store that information. Don't take any major decision, decisions, GMA, guys. Just <clears throat> try to collect all the pieces, the pieces of the puzzle. And from there, Sagittarius, um, when the time is right, guys, only when the time is right, you got to you got to make your move with the two of swords whatever happens to you into your career field gma it is likely that may will go peacefully with no tantrums with no turmoils and in the same time those meaningful circumstances are going to happening for you which will give you so much perspective guys but um when you decide before you decide what to do you need to consider all points of view okay for relationship people also out of nowhere really a way out for clear for clearing misunderstandings will be open for you if you this if you have been decided to leave the relationship some particular again piece of information is going to come to your knowledge most likely you're gonna realize that your boyfriend or a girlfriend they have done something for you that you are unaware and through that you're going to see how let's say how devoted they are how much they they care for you and this will make you postpone the the ultimate decision for you to leave if this is if this is some kind of decision that particular combination as well guys is going to protect you from making a uh, wrong moves into one relationship as soon as you are about to make wrong decision wrong choice wrong wrong approach into your relationship guys something is going to happen there which will make you really consider your attitude and your actions okay after that we are having the second card here guys that will be the strength one with catalyst the two of pentacles okay so people uh, that is a, a particularly difficult combination to be read okay so the strength, I will take the, the, the two of pentacles out so you can see the bot card, guys. Um, so the strength with the two of pentacles, people, here we are seeing you the aggression of, um, of controlling, okay? You will try to control and manipulate, uh, I mean, your tries to control and manipulate the situation will always make you uh, find yourself uh, on the losing side, okay? So... 
uh, let's say that you need to allow yourself to go with the flow without without trying to uh, let's say make some cheap moves or make demands or this kind of stuff basically the strength here tells you that the aggression is not the way for you moving forward over passionate actions especially when it comes to your career again is not the way that you have to move forward for career this particular combination here guys speaks to me that for example someone comes to you uh, of your co-workers and say hey do you know that uh, actually this project is open and just because the project is open you go for it directly this will be the most wrong thing that you can do now you as we said here with the two of swords and the wheel of fortune guys you have to be very careful okay you need to be kind of very very calcu uh, calculative about your approaches into your job and don't force yourself with aggression same goes for your relationship guys over passionate actions are going to not work in your favor people it is because they're going to uh, <coughs> excuse me guys <coughs> oh my god excuse me so they're going to uh, constrain the relationship into one direction and actually where you have a choice to make here the fate is going to make a choice for you guys so you have to be very calm you have to be very very patient you have to be very durable even if your partner for example is in a state of hectic wavering okay you need to show them compassion you need to show them um solidarity and in the same time guys you kind of have to you have you kind of have to possess the endurance to persevere through this most likely stressful pieces of time i'm not talking that whole the may is going to be stressful okay there will be just let's say a couple of hours per two days where your partner will feel very insecure because it will seem that you are the day she or he does have no control upon the relationship whatsoever and things are happening without that they're able to predict them and this is from that card here through that they may kind of start feeling a little bit insecure in and from there their aggression can really show up and this is where you have to kill the aggression with love not with passion guys but with love because passion can only give a birth to an arguments here okay and even though you are kind of shielded of making a kind of let's say um, wrong I, I cannot even say it wrong choices okay or wrong approaches it is kind of like um, and uh, I can't, worst type of uh, choices or worst type of approaches, you still can do something wrong which will be kind of fixed, you're gonna fix it after that, but why do you have to go through all these troubles, guys? Why? Then what will really contribute for you, we have a, a woman here, fiery, a fiery person, queen of wands, guys, that is Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. And that is a, a person that really understands the nature of your problems, okay? If that is in your career, this is a counselor. It is the way I see it, especially, oh yeah, especially with the with the page of wands. This is a, a counselor, guys, uh, a person that will kind of try to find the best possible approach for you. This particular person, she has a, a very a high sense of business business maneuver acute sense for business she kind of can utilize your um your skills your most profitable skills without even touching your negative sides of of your skills let's say that way so basically she's gonna use she's gonna allow you to implant a hundred percent of your maximum capacity <clears throat> to make yourself profitable so without being yourself counseling with this business genius here because that's a business genius guys with these two cards she is she basically can can do everything from nothing she can do business from gums okay she can do business from scratch and it's kind of easy with her this particular thing this these particular cards guys highly suggests for some ideas of starting private business with this partner okay or that could be a 
<clears throat> this co-worker at your at your job that she's about to open a company and she really wants you to go and work for them and this is where the dilemma comes okay so <clears throat> basically or that could be your super supervisor that is offering you a new place but you're feeling insecure of taking it because you don't know how you're gonna manage and she is going to explain you pre-taking that particular place how to do your job so basically he is he really wants she excuse me really wants your success and she will kind of um, allow you to learn from her from her experience and business experience and her experience is vast just so you know basically she has answers to every kind of problems you can have into your new direction guys okay if this is <clears throat> if this is for relationship and that is your partner wow she will want a lot of attention just so you know she will want a lot of attention and a lot of amusements okay and through these new um new activities you gotta be open for everything new but in the same time don't make a final decisions like i said don't make a, a final conclusions you got to experiment here with her uh she can be very jealous but in the same time very passionate she she just guys she just wants to be um everything for you that's the thing here for you sagittarius that person needs wants to be everything for you the most important thing for you and falling into this position guys with that particular combination you gotta make it everything for you because otherwise you're gonna lose her or lose him that could be also a man just so you know if that's not a person guys then this card speaks for high amounts of work and uh, kind of like um, you will be able on your own to utilize your um, most profitable skills and showing no weakness whatsoever. You're going to make a flawless performance into new fields of expertise just so you can try out and see are you good or not. And from there, guys, for what it seems, you're going to choose your new direction. But before that, before you kind of um, find yourself a hundred percent profitable of particular direction, particular task, particular um, a particular place at your job, or um, with a particular, let's say, unity or partnership into a private business, you shouldn't take your uh, decision. As I said, May is isn't a month for taking final decisions, guys. May is a month for you experimenting where exactly, making research okay where exactly your success lies and last but not least we do have wow look at that the empress huh okay with the catalyst knight of wands okay so the empress first i want to talk about career here and with the Knight of Wands, guys, enough is enough. It is uh, you are going to find your direction and that will be a, a time where you are going to make your final decision. So around the end of the month, the start of the June, you are going to make your final decision and start moving forward. And there you are going to detach yourself from the midst of activity. Now with the Knight of Wands, there is a, um, there is a small obstacle or no obstacle but like um let's say small possibility for you to kind of forget yourself into the experimenting thing that is the um that is the only thing that makes me afraid for you sagittarius because for what it seems you're going you're going to find yourself into your career a field a place a, a kind of a spot of expertise where none can do the job as well as you're doing it okay and you will be a very valuable asset for that company or for that business but the thing is that you may become cocky and you may start doing uncalculated risks okay or another version of this is that you may start helping people without asking anything in return and this is um, here is a place where I want to tell you Sagittarius if you can do something good you should never do it for free okay so Whenever you can do best, you have to do it, guys, for a reasonable amount of uh, rewards. I'm not saying money, 
I'm saying rewards. <clears throat> For those in relationship, guys, do you know what that uh, that particular combination, um, that particular reading is speaking to me? It's about taking decision of having a child. Okay, so it's about you, uh, kind of, uh, let's say, trying to figure out how you can manage child. That is a very strong version of um, of this particular of this particular spread, this particular combination of cards. If this isn't the case and the case is moving forward as we as I described it before that, the last card, the Empress with the Nine of Wands here, um, as a relationship speaks that someone, guys, is going to try to interfere into your relationship. This is, I can't say that this is a seducer, basically, that could be a common friend into your relationship that really is, he, he is kind of annoyed that you are not kind of giving him as much attention as before. And that you are devoting yourself into mostly into the relationship so you can find a way to expand it forward. And unfortunately, here with the Empress and the Knight of Wands, we are seeing you letting this person go. You're just disposing from that person it's because he's going to become really, really annoying, always call, calling you calling you name calling you names. Uh, for that you are not not want to spend time with with him most likely a fiery person Aries Sagittarius Leo or has these ascendant signs and he will be kind of uh, he will not <clears throat> let's say that he is not going to uh, leave you alone okay and he needs to learn his place the hard way and the hard way his place is going to be served from you but uh, one is certain guys at the end of may you will really know how to expand your relationship and your career and from there you will give yourself a little bit of rest a little bit of a let's say analyzing your decision and from there you will make a big plan for how all this can be implanted in your future what place that can take into your routine till now and from there guys a, a br new bright perspective awaits you for you ladies the empress as you already know it is a, a sign of pregnancy and with the knight of wands it may be a, a male kid fiery person okay so it may have a sense I, I don't believe that I don't know so it may have the ascendant of fire anyway it may be also a male anyway guys um that was the reading for you sagittarius for may 2017 that was the taroscope guys if you find it helpful please like the video and subscribe for my channel for more content at Tar predictions and if you want to um have me for a personal reading you can find me at www.tarpredictions.net which is also written here in the description of the video guys and until then you take care now see you next time bye